Our daily Bible reading for May 7th. Our reading today comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 1. We'll begin reading in verse 35. The next day again, John was standing with two of his disciples. He looked at Jesus as he walked by and said, Behold, the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him say this, and they followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following and said to them, What are you seeking? And they said to him, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come, and you will see. So they came and saw where he was staying, and they stayed with him that day, for it was about the tenth hour. One of the two who heard John speak and followed Jesus was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first found his own brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which means Christ. He brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, the son of John. You shall be called Cephas, which means Peter. The next day Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip and said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him of whom Moses and the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said to him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered him, Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Jesus answered him, Because I said to you, I saw you under the fig tree, do you believe? You will see greater things than these. And he said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. And a few thoughts for today. As John records the individuals that Jesus chooses to bring in as disciples and later apostles, the accounts of their callings are, to say the least, amazing. Details of these are especially intriguing in light of the suddenness with which they make that choice to indeed follow the Son of God. Nathaniel's account is particularly remarkable since Jesus uses his miraculous abilities to tell him that, number one, he saw Philip call him, and that, number two, it occurred while he sat under the fig tree. Some suggested a passage from Micah chapter 4, and verse 4, which says, And each of them will sit under his vine and under his fig tree, with no one to make them afraid, for the mouth of the Lord of hosts has spoken. Another passage found in 1 Kings comments on the nature of of the meaning of sitting under a fig tree or vine. So Judah and Israel lived in safety, every man under his vine and his fig tree, from Dan even to Beersheba, all the days of Solomon. This is found in 1 Kings chapter 4 and verse 25. Scholars and historians note that it was not unusual for men to sit under a fig tree or vine to read and contemplate the Word of God. This may have been Nathaniel's action, perhaps even thinking upon the story of Jacob's ladder from Genesis. In Genesis chapter 28 and verse 12 it says, He had a dream, and behold, a ladder was set on earth with its top reaching to heaven, and behold, the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. Perhaps prompting Jesus' remark, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will see the heavens open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man, in verse 51. Nathaniel's response to Jesus in wanting to know how he knew him was a natural one. How could a man walk up and assume to know something of whom they had never met? This is not a difficult task for the one who knows all men's hearts. Jesus saw the unique quality this man had within that would be invaluable in the kingdom. Little else is known of this man, but what we do know speaks volumes. Question of the day. How would you have responded to this stranger who came up and tells intimate details of your life? And a thought to meditate on this day. The disciples whom Jesus chose each had unique qualities that would be necessary in God's plan for the redemption of mankind. Do you see your unique place in that kingdom today? Those are our thoughts for May 7th.